I'm not feeling really well today, but we need to talk about these drops. Okay, before we talk about these drops, we start with the VV community update. I don't run through all the updates. I just give you a quick heads up in case you haven't heard about it yet. So metadata is supposed to be caught up with by the end of November. If we take the last um, community update into consideration, that is pretty much the time frame they, they told us before. So that is great. The waitlist is supposed to be coming uh, in December with the VV letters dropping which is something I really look forward to uh, the search function is supposed to be repaired by the end of the year or at least <laughs> even made available for the first time by the end of the year which is great having a working search bar would be so awesome MCP is supposed to be there by christmas that's well they said it's 90 percent sure so let's hope that this is happening Ooh. the oup will be there by the end of the first week of november which i think is like they said in the article the first step of the oup um just some some numbers for you to see nothing really really much happening at first, I, at least that's what I guess. I, I'm interested to see what's happening. Uh, crypto pay in by the end of November. That is great. That is one of the few things that I would consider uh, being capable to actually boost the market again. So merging accounts was a topic. By the end of November, you should be able to merge approximately five accounts without questions asked and after that they would start investigating into your account uh, which seems fair i guess uh, sh they will also try to show the burns in the circulating supply of collectibles by the end of november um, that is great i'm not sure if you will see it by the end of november because i would guess if anything comes in the way that is something they would uh, move to the end of the line, so to speak. So crypto payout, crypto payout, it has no specific date and they will talk about it in the next AMA. I guess it has uh, some few regularity, regularity, regu regulatory problems. Man, I, I feel like I lost my brain today. <clears throat> Um, VVverse presentation demo at Decon. That is something I'm really, really looking forward to. I really want to see what's happening there. That is, that is important to see. Um, maybe it is like mind blowing. That would be awesome. So let's look at the current drop. Today's drop on VV Werewolf by Night first appearance. That is happening in Marvel Spotlight number two from 1972. A highly sought after spec book for the last few months, or maybe even more than that. Uh, prices have skyrocketed. But now that we had the first appearance of the Werewolf by Night on Disney Plus already, I see a possibility for prices to cool down instead of going up. So. Yeah, I have no idea what this will mean for the future of this book of, or for Vivi. I don't know. Um, it's going to be a super limited drop. That means 10,000 editions. But the price stays at $6.99, which makes sense since this is not a super um, expensive book. But it is expensive. Don't, don't get it twisted. It is really expensive. The problem with this book is the regular cover with all that red. You don't find 
copies of that in 9.8 there's literally one copy on the cgc sensors that is graded with the 9.8 um, but you have 23 9.6s you have 77 9.4s and even 89 9.2s and after that they go into the hundreds so anything beside a 9.8 is is pretty obtainable a 9.8 is a single thing and i don't have a price for what someone sold the 9.8 for um the last price i got is a 9.6 from april uh from august and that sold for 12k so that is expensive um a 9.4 in april sold for five four point eight thousand dollars um if you get a 5.0 the last 5.0 that i found sold um was 500 bucks so in high grade it's expensive in lower grades it gets pretty obtainable and if you don't even need to grade it it's quite affordable with 200 dollars starting for ungraded book if it's in really really good condition it might go up to 1000 dollars but yeah like this this there's a good chance to get this book still but not in high grade if you look at the covers the uncommon again is the, the pretty ugly black and white variant then we have uh, alex saviuk and rachel rosenberg rare and ultra rare exclusive cover which in my opinion again is a lackluster image and i would love these artists to put in the work they put into regular covers and then of course the secret rare from the panel with the first appearance of the werewolf by night um that was a neil adams book like neil adams was the artist he has passed away uh, a few months ago and the writer was jerry conway interestingly enough jerry conway was at dc comics with 16 and by the age of 23 he was editor-in-chief with marvel so <laughs> that, that guy was special um yeah so much for the comic drop uh, next up let's look at the superman comic from dcnftuniverse.com that was recently released um let me know in the comments were you able to snack one did you try to get one and were you uh successful in the drop i was successful in the drop i even got two i was able to mint a, a common and a rare so i'm really really thankful for that like that is my favorite superhero one of the best books in the world and i was able to get it uh, i also love the way they, they 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 made the rarities with the different grades i don't like it for modern books but like i said in the last video this is not going to happen with modern books this is just for vintage book and for a vintage book that was a great idea and after i got both my nfts i was um looking at the interior art and i recognized that my rare had different tear and wear on the interior than my common that totally blew my mind and these looked scanned so i thought they had actually five books that they have scanned but turns out um no jim lee co-publisher from dc comics and one of my most favorite artists ever actually told us no this is not a scan of an existing comic we don't keep enough comics in different states of condition in our archives so these are edited in i guess photoshop to look like a scan they even went as far as taking the image from the next page um uh reverse it and put it as a layer on it so that you think it is see-through that is mind-boggling i'm working more than 20 years with photoshop at this point and i didn't think this was photoshop because i didn't think anyone would take that much effort on themselves to to create this but they did so in my opinion this is a lot of value because there is really really work going into these books that is way different than what we have on Vivi, which is pretty much the thing you have on the 
on the reader app on comixology or, or marvel insider uh, not marvel insider marvel unlimited you get pretty much the same book just with a few variant covers this is not the covers these are different books and that is awesome that is that has to be uh appreciated i mean I, i'm not like for me i already thought it was great if these were actual scans of the pages but knowing now they went as far as creating pages that show wear and tear to create new editions of these old classic that is just so special that is just so special and i mean if in that case ten dollars the book was ten dollars at drop that is so much worth it in my opinion i mean now now the prices are crazy we have 685 for the common we have 920 for the rare 1.8 for the epic and the legendary stays at 8k that is bonkers prices and the uncommon which is has like the best editing in this case like this looks super awesome this looks so amazing like that this is done digital is amazing. it's not like i mean i could do that that is not a problem i can easily do it but this is just a lot of work that's the thing like this is this takes time to do and this it is done well so the the floor price is not 525 that is crazy that is some mistake so you can't buy that one you would have to go for the 779 one that's the uncommon so pretty pretty big prices still in my opinion undervalued because this is just the second best book you could ever get um so yeah and uh, like just my opinion undervalued so let's go to mcfarlane toys digital this will be another well maybe not competitor to vv but someone who is working in the same lane they will present their McFarlane toys also as a metaverse variation as a digital collectible which is pretty great um, as you might know or not know they they have um, Trevor that has worked with Vivi is now working for um, McFarlane toys <laughs> I swear I feel like someone ate my brain um, Here's some info. I will link the website on the info box on this video so you can have a look for yourself. But pretty much same thing. You have a, a showroom where you can show your collectibles, where you can use your collectibles. Um, you can uh, earn points while collecting collectibles. And they look awesome. They look awesome. Let's take a look. So don't mind my internet connection is really bad so this might this might lag a bit so here you can see showroom you can take your collectible uh look at your friends and then choose the collectible set it up in the room like the room is super great like the, the lighting and everything awesome it looks really really good you can see the handles look even just like in vv and there's the collectible scaled because this collectible is actually the action figure is called spawn on throne so just for you to know and this is going to start on the 1st of december of this year there's also another image where you can see the collectible itself this is the first crop spawn on throne and just look at the detail at the texture and there's even bloom on the collectible like it's 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 kind of glowing where the where the light hits strongly like on the mask or here at the knee so th there's some bloom there that is awesome that just looks so great and if you're interested to get it um they have an, a pretty great offer right now when in november you can uh spend a hundred dollars on the mcfarlane toy store like the digital toy store the the, the online shop if you spend over a hundred bucks you get uh nft free of this first drop so that is awesome but it's as long as supplies last so that is going to be interesting we have no idea how big the edition size is so either way there is a possibility that so many people will order stuff from the mcfarlane toy store that there are no editions left 
there is a possibility that there's almost an infinite amount of editions and we don't know what the price is going to be at the start of december when this thing actually drops so tough call there i i don't know what i will do but i will think about it i mean in my opinion mcfarlane toys has some of the best stuff around so i would gladly spend 100 bucks there actually i saw some few pieces like uh, the dr fate statue from the new black adam movie that is that looks banger and it's like 130 bucks so <laughs> you're cool with that one um yeah but aside from mcfarlane toys there's also otki like you know otki is one of my favorite places right now and they also have a drop headless gunslinger um and I was so surprised. This is an image taken from the Solana wallet and this is going to be a 3D collectible. As I saw this video, I thought, okay, that's nice. It's a 3D collectible. So you have a video of a 3D model. No, this is not just a video of a 3D model. This is how it was going to look like. And uh, yeah, it's an actual 3D collectible that you can use. Um, of course, it's the gunslinger spawn. Um, <laughs> In a, in a nice creation without head but with a with a pumpkin head so that's pretty cool looks great um the, num the numbers um this thing is going to release today also so if you want it it's happening today 12 p.m est there's going to be 100 pieces 70 will be available for oct oct is the Otki community token i talked about this a lot if you own Otki nfts doesn't matter if you got them for free or if it's the ones you have bought you can stack them and stacking them will grant you oct you get different amounts depending on your nft and yeah this one is going to be 333,333 oct that's 70 pieces available for that then you will have 27 available pieces for 3.3 to soul um there is one on auction it is already on auction depending when you watch this video it might be already too late for you because the auction is ending in while i'm on this recording um we have the auction here so it's 17 hours 18 hours from now on and this video will go live in a few hours so and it's already at seven so wow last time i checked a few minutes ago it was still at six so now it's already at seven so so it's the it's the first mint that's why it's quite a bit expensive but awesome that is really really awesome um there's also two pieces that will go out in the giveaway one has already been given away then there's another giveaway coming so that means uh a total of 100 pieces so this is a very rare nft i really hope i can get it i i have more than enough oct i was pretty good at uh accumulating oct in the last few two or three months so I'm, I'm good on that side i really hope i can make it so i guess that's it for today yeah let me know in the comments were you able to snack a superman comic are you going to buy at the mcfarlane store to get this nft and are you going to get this otki nft i love otki it's the best community i've been in lately and yeah i'm really really happy uh, about this drop uh, so amazed that they are already able to to throw out a 3d drop can't wait i wish you all luck with your drops let me know leave a like and if you haven't subscribed to this channel bye bye i guess i get to sleep now i feel like someone took my brain wow.